Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, estimating products, and the product is the answer to a multiplication problem. I want you to look at this problem. I don't want you to solve it with the algorithm. I want you to look at it first. So put your markers down or whatever. Let's look at this. 697 times 82. If I want to do an estimation of this number, what are some friendly numbers that these can be rounded to so that it'd be easy for me to do it in my head or quickly on a piece of paper or on my desk without doing the whole big thing? What could 697 be that would be a friendlier number, Tosh? Seven, isn't it close to 700? Okay, what about 82? What would be a friendly number? Jasper? 80. And then as we talked about yesterday, I can just look at my numbers. Eight times seven is what? 56, how many zeros? One, two, three. One, two, three. And here's my estimation answer. So when I actually multiply these two numbers together, I'm gonna get around this answer. Is it gonna be exactly this answer? No. no, but it's gonna be close to this answer. And if I do my multiplication between these two numbers and I'm nowhere near this number, I know I've made an error, okay? And hopefully it wasn't in my estimation, okay. Got it? Toyota, okay, here we go. Another example. We have 5,897 times 67. Okay, now on your desk, would you please write what are the two friendly numbers that I could use to write it down on your desk to multiply these two numbers together? What are the friendly numbers? When we estimate, we don't want to be way off here. We want to round to something friendly, but not like, I'm not going to say like 6,000. I could, but I don't want to say, or like I could say 10,000 if I'm rounding way up, but that's way too big, right? Okay, who could tell me what they use for a friendly number of this number? There's actually two possible answers. On dare? Okay, 5,900, I like this one. And then 67, what friendly number would that be? On dare? 70. Okay, so I like this, this is really close. I'm gonna take the 59 times the seven. So I have 413, how many zeros? One, two, three. One, two, three. Some of you may have estimated all the way to 6,000 times 70, and we could take the six and the seven. 42, one, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three, four zeros. And we're not that different between the two. Any questions about your estimation? Jasper? Not what it, it's not a good round really because it's going to be off by 4,000. That's quite a bit. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you four multiplication problems. I want you just to look at them. Okay, out of these four possible things, which one of these estimated answers will become the magical 800,000? Which one of these, A, B, C, or D, will become 800,000? So I'm going to do my magical rounding with friendly numbers. Okay, so I will do the first one for you. I have A, which is my friendly number should be what, everyone? What's my friendly number here? 8,000 times what? 
10. 8,000 times 10 is 80,000. Is that my answer I'm shooting for? No. no. So is A the answer? No. You lose A. Okay. Now you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do, you're going to estimate with the other problems and see which one is going to be close to or estimate to 800,000. So try B, try C, and try D. Wow. Okay, so which is the answer? Everybody? C. So that didn't work, that didn't work, but C worked. 